Hi everybody, I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. Can a bar soap brand use AM FM radio to build brand equity and drive purchase intent? The consumer packaged goods category has been exploding for AM FM radio led by dozens and dozens of brands from Procter & Gamble. But today we're gonna to share with you a case study from a bar soap brand and how radio helped them drive brand equity and purchase intent. Now, there has been a lot of hard evidence in the CPG category, especially in personal care, that AM FM radio can drive very strong sales effect and ROI. This recent case study from a, a men's personal care brand showed that AM FM radio campaign for the brand drew an 8% sales lift for the parent brand, very positive ROI uh, for the parent brand of almost $12 and share growth for the brand. And this is from Nielsen Catalina, which matches portable people meter, commercial audience exposure to the actual shopper card purchase data at the household level. Now, across the entire CPG category to the left of your screen, breakfast bar, snacks, uh, candy, beer, their you know, soft drinks, radio does exceptionally well. To the right of your screen are all the amazing retail return on advertising spend that radio generates. So today we're going to focus on the bar soap category. The first question we want to know is let's learn about the category. What's the consumer profile of people that purchasing bar soap versus the you know kind of liquid soap when we spoke to the brand initially they said they wanted to research folks over the age of 50 we said well, let's try looking at 40 plus just in case and what we discovered in the middle of your screen is that the category actually over indexes pretty significantly with women in their 40s as well as women in their 50s so that 40 to 59 uh, demographic is critical for uh, the bar soap category. We found that 34% uh, of women who were in this study indicated they were heavy bar soap purchasers, which was defined as uh, eight or more purchasers in the last year. Um, the category really um, over indexed in larger households. You can see on the top right hand side, more likely to have folks, uh, three or more, five or more people in the household. Employment was strong. So the profile here is really, really a good profile. And we really learned that 40 to 49 is a key demo not to be ignored. Now, what's the uh, kind of marketplace look at brand equity for all the major brands? You start with unaided awareness. To the right of your screen, you can see the first brand people think of for bar soap is Dove, and Dove has benefited from all the other line extensions and brand extensions it has. So it's a heavily advertised brand followed by Dove, Iris Spring, and Ivory. Now going, uh, going a little deeper into the purchase funnel without recall consideration and brand favorability, you can see if you have strong unaided awareness, you can also get strong consideration and brand favorability. Notice Olay though, People didn't necessarily think of it uh, strongly top of mind for bar soap, but you can see it does very well on consideration and brand favorability um, and purchase intent. All right, now the big question for media planners is are radio listeners, are they heavy users of the bar soap category? And so through this Maru Matchbox study that was conducted, we discovered that the more people listen to radio, the more likely they are to be heavy consumers of the bar soap category. So the gray here represents uh, light, medium, and heavy radio listeners for the total category. The blue are the heavy bar soap purchasers, those that are buying eight or more times in the past year. And you can see to the right of your screen that heavy radio listeners are 23% more likely to be heavy bar soap purchasers. So a major national radio campaign was run 
we wanted to understand how did the campaign performed. So we did an analysis of DMAs that had heavy radio GRPs. We call those the high radio opportunity to hear markets. And then we compared the performance among markets that had light GRPs or low opportunity to hear. And the difference between those two gave us an understanding of how well radio did at driving brand equity and purchase intention. So first, let's take a look at brand favorability. The blue are the high opportunity to hear markets, markets with heavier GRP weight. The gray are the markets with low opportunity because uh, the GRP weight was low. And we can see there was 5% greater brand favorability in the radio high opportunity to hear markets. We also found a significant difference between heavy radio listeners and folks overall. Heavy radio listeners were more likely to consider the brand and feel positively about the brand. So radio worked. To the right of your screen here, purchase intent. It was 6% higher in the high opportunity to hear DMAs. That is the real exclamation point that says radio worked. The markets where the radio campaign was strongly exposed generated 6% greater purchase intent. And here we're looking at ad recall. Radio blew it out of the park, 33% to the right of your screen higher ad recall in those DMAs that had higher media weight and therefore a higher opportunity to hear the radio campaign. And lastly, we're going to look at brand images. We tested a whole series of bar soap brand images. They were 7% stronger among heavy radio listeners. And when it came to heavy usage of the brand that was advertised, radio listeners were 18% more likely to be re regular users of the brand. Now, one of the other powerful things you can do with a campaign effects study is to examine radio programming formats. So, you here have all the major programming formats and you can see how frequently overall they're listened to. And the demographic for this study was women 40 plus. So it's interesting to see how strong the rock formats perform, both classic rock and straight ahead regular rock. The um, first column is just those that say they frequently listen to the format overall among women 40 plus. The second column are the folks that say they frequently listen to the format among those that are the heavy bar so purchasers. And then all the way on the right is an index that compares the heavy bar so purchaser format listenership against total. Well, the first thing you realize is just about every format is over index. And you're like, how can that be? It's like woebegone where every child is above average. Well, remember at the beginning of the study, we discovered that this category bar soap users are heavy radio listeners so it doesn't matter the format you're looking at they always over index because they're such big users of the format so you look at that middle column and that lets you build your media plan you'll need classic rock and oldies and news talk rock top 40. you can see there's a very broad diverse list of formats that you can use to build reach against this bar soap category so the key findings here, first and foremost, we discovered that targeting 50 plus was too old. One third of the heavy bar soap purchasers were 40 to 49, so lowering the demo was critical. We also discovered that heavy category usage is driven by the bigger households. AMFM radio is the ideal platform for this category. The heavy bar soap uh, purchasers are much more likely to be heavy radio listeners. And Definitely radio worked when we compared the high opportunity to hear markets, those markets with the higher GRP weight versus the light. We saw much stronger brand favorability, brand consideration, purchase intent, brand images, product usage, and awareness. And we also found a broad array of radio programming formats to use to really build strong reach against the category. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One is a full service advisory. We offer media planning recommendations, creative best practices, and measurement services for the entire audio campaign. Each week, we publish a new audio case study on our blog, cumulusmedia.com 
westwoodone.com. And when you're there, you can sign up to get a free weekly email with the case study and audio insight that comes out every week. Thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through this bar soap category case study. Thanks so much.